Benji, firstly, welcome back to England. Uh, how was the flight? Yeah, it was good, mate. It was good. Um, we played a bit of cards to pass the time, and um, yeah, it was one of the easier ones I've had here. Yeah. It was good. And now you landed, I guess it's, it's all business and aiming up at Warrington? Well, not yet. I think it'll take us a couple of days to uh, you know, get settled in and um, climatise a bit and get used to the time change and stuff. But no, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's, uh, I haven't been here for a couple of years, so good to check out Manchester and have a look around and um, look forward to playing the game. I guess for you, it, it's a relief to be on that plane. There was a, a worry about an injury there. Yeah, definitely. It was a bit of a scare for me, but um, turned out it was just a small strain and that sort of thing. So had a couple of days rest with the flights and that sort of thing. So just ice and you know physio, that sort of thing. So definitely ready to go. And what are you expecting from the whole trip? Uh, not just the game, but being over here in England with, with your teammates? Yeah, it's going to be a good experience for us and it'll, it'll test to where, uh, where we are as a team. Um, you know, we did pretty well against South last week and we're looking to improve on that again. And for the game against Warrington, you know, you mentioned the calibre of opposition you'll be up against. Uh, what do you know about them and the way they play? Well, I watched, just watched the first uh, round against Salford on the plane on the second leg. Uh, so I expect, uh, you know, a, a very hard game. Won't give away too much, but they like to move the ball around. Uh, they play very physical in different parts of the field. So uh, at the moment, it's just about us getting our, our, you know, our, uh, our team right once we get over here and settle in and, and start to build up. At the moment, it's no good worrying too much about it this far out. We've just got to, uh, you know, get on the training paddock and uh, adjust to the conditions. Uh, that's the most important thing. And once we adjust to that and, and we can some build some uh, build into the game, uh, you know, in, in, in probably on Monday, we'd start to really concentrate on, on what we need to do and about the opposition. I know, I know uh, Warrington got another game, so they're not worrying about us too much at the moment either. So it's no good playing it before you get out there. Yeah, definitely. It's good to be part of the first one and, you know, uh, definitely an experience. I've never been to England before, so, you know, looking forward to the trip. Depending on conditions, um, you know, we'll, we'll probably take a bit of time to train here and see what it's like and um, have our game plan adapted to what the conditions sort of do. But we have that ability within our team, I think, to throw the ball around. So, um, you know, if we need to play basic, we will. But if we can throw it around, we probably will too. And you've got a, uh, a ready-made tour guide there in, in the house with yourself, uh, Gaz <laughs> oh, Is he going to be putting the hat on? Gareth hasn't stopped talking about it. He's like, don't worry, I'll show you guys where to have coffee. I, I know where all the spots are, you know. Uh, but I've got a mate here too, Mark Flanagan from St Helens, who's um, got a coffee shop in Manchester, who's going to pick me up to Savo, I think, and go and have a look around. So, got a few tour guides, mate, looking forward to it. And there's a bit of time before you do get into that game. I guess mm. you'll be seeing the sights and sounds, of a few community events, get a feel for Manchester. Yeah, we'll get out there a bit. I think, um, you know, especially with a lot of guys who haven't been here before, I think it's important to to not be stuck in the hotel room 24-7, get out and have a look and um, experience the culture here because it is a lot different to what these boys are used to. So, um, And with the weather looking pretty warm out there, I think the boys all pack their beanies and spare socks. So it doesn't look too warm. <laughs>